Welcome to Mr. Foy's Easel. Today I'm going to be talking generally about cartoon humor and, of course, doing some drawings to uh, help explain this theme. Of course, you know that one source of cartoon humor is just funny faces and funny bodies. Or take, for example, this goofy fellow right here with the exaggerated nose. Uh, you have to admit that if you're in a humorous frame of mind, you'd find this kind of funny. And, of course, you can have all sorts of characters using exaggeration to bring out particular facial features and perhaps a, a hint as to emotions and maybe a, in the case of this lady right here you might decide that uh, she's sort of snobbish or shall we say aristocratic and he's just happy go lucky he looks like he got up on the wrong side of the bed well, funny faces and funny bodies. Well, in the case of character number one here, let's say that he hasn't been following his uh, prescribed diet, and he's, shall we say, just a little bit tubby. Well, this guy here looks like he's angry about something, of course, and so I'm going to put his body into such a position that, that it agrees with the scowl on his face. Looks like he's getting ready to punch somebody out. Now, this lady right here, is, uh, I think I mentioned that she might be kind of snobbish. Sometimes Snobbish people, uh, when they're sipping something out of a tiny little cup or glass, they do uh, appear as if they are really proud of their heritage and their circumstances, nose turned up and so on. Later in the show, I'll come back to a character similar to what I've just described. Well, anyway, funny faces, funny expressions, funny attitudes, these are frequently a, a part of a cartoon humor. And then, um, although I've already shown some clothes, uh, funny hats can also uh, produce a laugh. And when I say funny hats, one example is if the hat doesn't fit, if it's way too small like this one. Reminds me of uh, clowns at the circus. Clowns very seldom have shoes that seem to fit or anything else that seems to fit. Sometimes, of course, a, a cartoon character might have a hat that's way too big, and so he can barely s see where he's going. And then there's what I would refer to as old-fashioned hats. If you've ever seen a movie filmed back in the 1920s, say, uh, you're likely to see some of the men in the picture wearing this kind of straw hat. Of course, I could go on and talk more about clothes, but I won't do that. I've touched on that already. Now, something else that is seen in cartoon humor is exaggerated action on the part of the character. For example, a, a rabbit that's really out for a run or maybe running from a wolf or something. Well, maybe not because he looks like he's happy. 
Well, of course, we know that in real life, rabbits run on or hop on on down the road, but this one has got fists like a human being and he's running so fast that kicks up dust no matter whether it's, he's out in the field or on the, on the asphalt. So exaggerated action. Another example of this would be a fellow like the second guy I drew over here really angry about something and not just standing there, but, well, you'll see what I mean. He's angry about something and he's waving his fists in the air and making a lot of noise and putting his whole body into uh, this fit of temper. She's so mad he's smoking, you know. <laughs> so all of this is the kind of thing you find in cartoon humor. Well, let's have a short break and we'll pursue this theme further uh, when I return. Home security is now available through Conway Corp. It's an advanced solution backed by people you know and trust. Customize your system with motion detectors, sensors, light controls, and more. All managed from your wireless touchscreen or mobile phone. It's an easy way to protect the things that matter and the ones who matter most. It's safety for you. Powered by Conway Corp. I want to draw your attention to uh, a kind of theme that is often in uh, cartoons, especially cartoons involving animals. Let's say, for example, the cat and the mouse. Uh, I mean, old cat uh, looking around the corner at a mouse who doesn't see the cat but has a funny feeling that <laughs> that he might be in danger. Now if I had time I could go ahead and point out to you that in all probability the cat is going to lose out in this <laughs> in this struggle. Uh, what I mean by that is, well, you've seen, <coughs> many of you who are watching remember the Roadrunner cartoons. <coughs> the Roadrunner always wins and the Coyote always loses. And I've, also, I've seen a number of cartoons involving characters named Tom and Jerry. Tom is the cat and Jerry is the mouse. And uh, more often than not, uh, Tom is <laughs> battered and bruised at the end of the cartoon. Um, there are many other examples. One could cite Bugs Bunny and the rabbit hunter, Elmer Fudd. Moving along and sort of related to this, and I'll be sure to point this out, you have so-called funny accidents and violence. I used to watch cartoons at the theater and sometimes the bad guy, or that is the predator, manages to get run over by what they call a steamroller. And right after that happened, why they, for just a minute you see the the bad guy, whether it's a cat or, 
or some other uh, predator is just flat like a pancake. But not to worry, immediately the, uh, the cat <laughs> scrapes himself up off the street and starts the action all over again. Uh, another switch on this, uh, bad things happening to uh, uh, predators and uh, villains or whatever you want to call them, is, let's say this is the, the bad guy and he's, he's chasing an, a cute little dog that hasn't really done anything except aggravate this fellow. The dog is out here somewhere and this guy is running and the audience is not cheering for him. This is an animated cartoon. But there's what you call a manhole. And this guy doesn't know it, but he doesn't pay any attention to it, so he's going to fall down. In the animated cartoon, you'll see that happening. Oftentimes in uh, the funny papers, uh, you have somebody, whether he's a, a mean dude or not, that's about to walk into a manhole and he's busy reading the paper. And the cartoonists apparently think that there may be even more humor in what's about to happen to uh, somebody like this than actually showing the event itself. Same thing here, I suppose. The manholes, that's, you could really get hurt falling into any kind of hole like that. So, let me show you another example. This is not a manhole, this is supposed to be a mud puddle. And if you had a, oh, a, a fellow with dirty clothes and ragged clothes about to fall in, that wouldn't be so funny. But what about somebody with a high hat on, dressed up with spin, pinstripe trousers, thinking that he's really, really something, as we say. Somehow, this would be funnier than if it happened to this guy over here. Poor old guy here, you know, a dirty, ragged clothes and shoes and so on. Well, continuing along this theme of accidents and various, various bad things happening to the characters that we like to boo. Uh, why are these funny? Sometimes it's not just a manhole or a mud. Sometimes it's a, an explosion, you know, which sends the uh, predator to the moon or, you know, <laughs> you've seen these in animated cartoons. Sometimes it's, uh, uh, for some reason, the, the villain gets shot, you know, and it, <laughs> well, what, the question I want to put to you, do we enjoy seeing people with bad things happening to them? Well, I don't think so, but that's something to think about. And with that, I'll close and We'll return later on with future episodes of Mr. Voice Hazel.